my recent videos, it actually had comments. Shocker, I know. And it still has comments. So if you want to comment on one of my videos, go to my Fashion Nova bikini haul where mum reacts to all of my bikinis. Anyway. So loads of you guys were asking me on that video how I stay fit and healthy. So I thought it'd be fun to try it. And obviously I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And like, for example, my skin, I do have troubles with it, like breaking out quite a bit and stuff like that. However, I feel like this would be a really fun video and I can like show you guys all of my stuff that I do because I do like to go to the gym regularly and obviously I'm vegan as well. So I feel like you guys would find this video interesting. So let's get started. I would love to say that I go to the gym every day. However, that would be a lie. I don't go to the gym every day, however much I'd love to. Instead, I probably go to the gym like three to four times a week. So it's pretty much like every other day, although sometimes I will go like three days without going to the gym. But basically, the main reason why I go to the gym is just so I keep strong. Obviously, it's always good to keep your body moving, you know, keeping active. And I just feel like it's it's, it's a fun thing to do. Like, I, I actually like enjoy going to the gym sometimes not all the time sometimes it's like that thing like before you go to the gym you're like oh i really don't want to but then when you're actually at the gym then it is kind of fun and like afterwards you feel great and you know you feel elated so i'm now going to go to the gym i've got a bottle of water i'm going to listen to something give some music or something like that so let's go so the first thing i go on when i get to the gym is the treadmill <laughs> because I always like to start my workout off with a warm-up and I like to do cardio for that because I just feel like it gets my heart pumping and basically because obviously I go to the gym normally like first thing in the morning obviously I went a bit later today than normal but yeah basically I go there like straight after I've woken up so I'm like a bit you know I feel a bit groggy I just kind of do what I feel like doing if that makes sense like depending on that day like if the day before I was really tired or I didn't sleep enough then I won't go as fast just because I feel like my body doesn't doesn't feel like it's able to go as fast however just like on a normal day I'll try to go like as fast as I can and as you can see I am dead by this point in my workout like literally three minutes into my workout my lungs are like burning so then I like to do some weight training. I don't know what you call it, but you know, some resistance machines. So for these sorts of things, I just kind of take it however I feel like my body can take it. Normally I do like 20 or 25. I did start off on 20, but then I felt like it was too light. So then I um, ended up going to 25. Basically when you're going, if you do like your rep super fast, I feel like you're using like the momentum to help you do it. So I like to do it really slowly and I try to do it as like controlled as possible because then I feel like you're actually activating your muscles more and then that way you don't actually have to do as many reps because you know you're obviously taking the reps slower so then at my gym they have like these mats which is really nice because I like to do some exercises on the floor to be honest I kind of do like depending on the day I'll end up doing like I'll decide on four moves and then I'll do those moves a few times. So when I do my workouts, I try to like do moves that like incorporate your whole body. I don't like to just do one muscle since I don't feel like I go to the gym enough or I don't feel like I push it hard enough on one particular muscle to do like, you know, just leg stay or arms day. So at the moment I'm doing hip thrusters, which gets your legs and your glutes. And I just like really like to hold it. So I tend to do like 10 or 15 going up and down with the weight. And then I'll hold it for like, 30 seconds and then I'll do like another 10 to 15 um, reps so then the next move that I'm doing is squats and I feel like squats is just such a good move because it's like really easy to do like I don't feel like you can it's not like a super difficult move like all you have to do is make sure your back is nice and straight and then other than that like you can't really go wrong in terms of like your form and stuff like that so I always like to do squats pretty much like every single workout because it gets your legs and your glutes and obviously I also like to hold a weight because I've like found that I've progressed in my knee going to the gym like I feel like I've become stronger because I've been going to the gym for a while now so then I'm doing I have no idea what you call this but like is it called like a bicep curl and then I like push it up over my head either way I feel like this gets like your whole arm and it gets like your shoulder as well so I really like doing this move this is like one of my staple moves that I always do because it just like gets that whole arm area and it's quite like an easy move to do just as long as you make sure that you keep your back straight anyway so yeah I like to do this for as many reps as I can do until I'm really really exhausted so now that I've done those four moves I'm basically going to 
to repeat them all over again. But the only thing is I'm like really weird when I do like go to the gym. I never do things in order. So I just kind of do it in a muddled order, but I do the same four moves again. So as you can see, I'm doing the one for my arm. And now I'm doing the squats again. And now I'm doing the hip thrusters again. Yeah, and that's my whole workout to be honest. Obviously it varies day to day, but that's just kind of like what I did today. So I'm now back from the gym and it is breakfast time. I am very, very hungry. So this is what I have for breakfast. I basically have porridge with um, obviously oats and I have soya milk and then I have lots of pomegranate. Let me show you guys. I've got pomegranate. I've also got some blended flax seeds so they're all ground up and that way you can actually absorb the nutrients, all of the omega-3s. Then I've got some grapefruit on here and I've also got some frozen berries which are full of loads of antioxidants which is really good for your skin. With my breakfast I also like to have my vitamins. I do actually basically I always have really struggled to swallow um, like capsules. I literally can't do it. So I have to have it with food now. I used to have to actually chew them up and swallow them like that. Like I cannot do it with water. I've never been able to. So I have to do it with food now. I've like progressed a little bit. So the vitamins I have, I actually have these B12 ones after my breakfast because I feel like as a vegan, you can sometimes get low in B12. So it's better to be safe than sorry. This one's actually an under the tongue one. So this is nice. I have that after breakfast. Then I also have these probiotic ones. It does come in a jar, but um, I accidentally put the jar in the bin. But you're not really supposed to do that, so this is just what you fill the jar up with. These are the female probiotic ones, which are really good for your guts. And then I have these omega-3 DHL huh? from algae. Normally they're from fish oil, but um, obviously I'm vegan, so I have it from algae oil instead. This is just good for your hair and brain and nails and just like overall like skin health and stuff like that. Then I also have another under the tongue one. So I obviously have this after I've eaten my breakfast. And this is K2, and obviously K2 is good for your bones. So those are the vitamins I have on like a regular basis. I don't have K2 every day. I have it like every few days. Right, let's tuck in. And it is now lunchtime. So for lunch, look at what I have every day for lunch, or pretty much every day. I, when I'm trying to be healthy, on like my healthy days, I always like to have a sweet potato for lunch because it's just amazing. I love sweet potato. It's like my favorite food ever. And it's obviously full of loads of vitamin A, which is good for your skin. And it just looks, it's so delicious. I love sweet potato. I do normally have more guacamole on here than what I've got at the moment. But the thing is my avocado was really hard. So I could only like get that much out of it. So the rest I've had to put in the fridge. So I'll have to use it tomorrow when it's um, softened a bit more. Anyways, yeah, so I've got a bit of guacamole on it because it has healthy fats. And then I've also got some greens for all of the vitamins and minerals and just goodness. So it's kale that which I like stuff. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's almost like frying it, but without oil, you use water instead. So yeah. And then I also made myself this really delicious juice. Don't let the color put you off, Meocorns. Okay, guys, I know it looks a bit odd, but just don't let the color put you off. Basically, it's got carrots in it, celery, and it's got cucumber in. It doesn't really taste like anything. It's also got obviously a lot of water in it as well. It pretty much just tastes like water with a little bit of like vegetable flavor. It tastes nice though, guys. I know I'm not like describing it in like the most pleasing way, it, like vegetable flavor. It doesn't sound like it, but it is nice, guys. Anyways, I'm gonna tuck into my sweet potato. I know you guys are probably thinking like Mia you literally eat so healthily well that is like only half true basically what I like to do how I like to stay healthy and like still have balance is basically I tend to like eat you know my treats my junk food you know burger ice cream sweets all of that stuff on like the weekends or only like a couple of days of the week and then the rest of the week I like to eat healthy and super clean and that is just like because I do enjoy eating healthy healthy food but obviously I also enjoy eating unhealthy food everyone does but I feel like that way it creates some sort of like balance and you just feel good from it because obviously when I do eat unhealthy food I don't feel like good and it doesn't make me feel nice I like to have like 
my days where I know that I'm gonna be eating unhealthily and then I also like to have my days where I know that I'm gonna be eating healthily. So that way I can like keep balance and like I know what I'm doing and obviously that is how I like feel good and like feel good and healthy. Anyways, I'm now making dinner. So for dinner, I'm actually gonna be having some noodles. Now I'm gonna put some water in here and then start cooking those. I'm also gonna put some tofu and then I'm gonna make some sort of like glaze out of maple syrup and balsamic vinegar for my dinner. So let's get cooking. <laughs> looks me because I'm so excited to eat this. Basically the reason why I love the maple syrup and the balsamic vinegar combination is because it basically goes all camera cameralized camera caramelized anyways look how amazing it looks let's try it mm. I also love spicy food so I've always add some nice hot sauce to my meals it makes it that a little bit better so I just got like a whole dollop of sauce in my mouth. That's spicy! Okay, don't do too much of it. So guys, I'm gonna have to whisper because my baby sister is now asleep. But it is dessert time, so for dessert I have some Halo Top ice cream. This is the flavor peanut butter cup, which is like one of my favorite flavors. I love peanut butter, so this is just amazing. Right, I've got a bowl full here, so. This is my favorite time of the day. As I said earlier, I absolutely love sweets, so dessert's my favorite meal. If you can even class it as a meal, is dessert a meal? So meal I'm now actually gonna be going to bed. That is basically everything I do on like a day-to-day -day basis. Well, what I did today to help me stay healthy and basically why I eat in the Day and what I do at the gym. So, guys, if you don't know how to go, make sure to click subscribe or so check out this video here and don't forget that. I'll see you guys next one. Bye!